Hey everyone, this is David from Celix, and today I'll be showing you how to easily notice and react to your Amazon keyword ranking changes. First off though, if you haven't yet watched the first two videos about tracking and optimizing keyword rankings in Celix, you can find those below and in our knowledge base at help.celix.com. Alright, as always, you'll start off in the cockpit which will give you an overview of all your most relevant KPIs including your keyword rankings. In this graph, Celix will summarize all the ranking changes of your monitored keywords in the last 30 days. Now if you see dips like this, you'll probably want to know which product suffered from ranking losses. To do that, you can simply click on View All Rankings or on Rankings in the top navigation. Here, you'll find the individual keyword ranking index for each product so you can go ahead and sort this column to see which products you should focus on. Now the great thing about the Celix Ranking Index is that it doesn't just summarize all your keyword rankings equally. The higher the rankings, the more value Celix will give it. Let me just head to the product dashboard to show you what I mean with that. Okay, so for example, ranking changes on the first page, like this one, will result in stronger index movements than ranking changes on the seventh page. This is because the changes back there are far less important to the product's visibility as products on page seven will usually not be found anyway. You can also move to the dashboard's keyword tab to get a more detailed view of those individual keyword rankings and for example sort them by the current ranking position. Let's go back to rankings in the top menu now as there are also other ways to see how your product's keyword rankings are performing. For example, you can check the average ranking position of all monitored keywords to get an idea of how well the products are currently ranking overall. Also, you can check the product's top ranking position to see how its strongest keyword is performing. Alternatively, you can also check your rankings from the keyword perspective, so let's move to the Keywords tab right here. At the top left, you'll see how many of your monitored keywords have at least one product ranking on the first 10 pages. In this example, it's 38 keywords, while for 132 keywords, there is no product within the top 10 pages. On the right side, this overall status is shown in more detail. Again, you can see those 132 keywords in red. But you can also check on which pages those other 22% of keywords have their highest ranking product. Now let's say one of your product's variations generated some sales via PPC for a certain keyword. And now you want to find out how and which of your products are ranking for it. If you've already started to monitor that keyword, you can then simply search for it here and see the product with the best ranking position. Furthermore, you can click on Details to enter the Keyword Dashboard, where Celix will show you the rankings of all monitored products for that specific keyword. At this point, I'd just like to emphasize the fact that all of the keywords researched in Celix are actual keywords used by Amazon customers and therefore all have significant sales potential. As you probably know, Celix shows the relative search volume from 1 to 5. And let me just tell you, a relative search volume of 1 is still very high, especially on Amazon.com. While it's also important to mention that long-tail keywords such as these will usually lead to higher conversion rates as these customers actually know what they're looking for. This is why you should really try to keep an eye on all of those keyword rankings. Now then, back to where we started you'll probably want to work on improving those rankings again, so you'll need to generate more sales via those keywords. For this, the common tactic is to increase the keywords PPC bid. So you can simply head to the PPC manager, enter the campaign and ad group, and increase your bid. Here, you can also see the bid, click, and sales history for that specific keyword. If you don't have a campaign yet, you can also go ahead and create one directly within Celix. You'll find a more detailed video about the PPC manager in our knowledge base. 
The final step we would recommend is making a note about it in the Notes tab of the Product Dashboard. And you'll hopefully soon see those rankings improve again in the coming days. And that's it for this third and final video on managing your keyword rankings with Silix. Thanks for watching and see you next time.